It's time for a shrimp tank update. Look at the little shrimpy buddy. Well, I hope you guys can see him. This camera I have it does not have a macro lens, although I'm going to have to get one soon because uh, these shrimps be tiny. Look at the little guys. They're everywhere. Hi, Mommy Shrimp. How are you doing? I hope you're doing good. Anywho, so I've got baby shrimps in all three of my primary color shrimp tanks. This is the Bloody Mary Red Shrimp Tank. And moving on over to my yellow colony. I've got tiny little itty bitty baby shrimpy buddies. Just doing their thing. Having a good old time doing things of a shrimp like nature. And they are just kind of like scattered all across the tank here so there's no one particular area that they're congregating in that being said over in the orange tank I did notice at least the other day there were a bunch of babies all over the filter and although it seems like they've spread out a little bit there's a little baby a little buddy I don't think I see any on the filter but they are everywhere. There's been a veritable shrimp explosion in this tank because we had three or four buried mama shrimps. Oops. Zoomed in too far for this lens to handle. See, I gotta get that macro lens. These these little shrimps are so small. But they're so adorable. Hi. Hey buddy. But yeah. Everything's going really well in the shrimp tanks, and um, gosh, I haven't really had any problems. It's just been come down, check on them, feed them, make sure the water's, you know, up, leveled up. Honestly, these plants, um, gosh, for whatever reason, I had never bothered to look up the uh, specific species name of this plant it came to me with a shipment a long time ago and as you can see they're pretty much in all my 10 gallon tanks they do a pretty good job of sucking up nitrate and they grow quite quickly which is good provides plenty of hiding space for the baby shrimp it sucks up nitrates and honestly all i really have to do for the most part at this point is just top up the tank with water ro water of course now um there's other things going on in the fish tank room, and this video really isn't about that, but, uh, you know, these guys are technically shrimp, although the common nomenclature would have you believe they are a prawn. So it's, it's just kind of one of those things where the name implies one thing, but the, 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 the <laughs> can't talk today, the scientific classification says another... Although, to be fair, I'm not entirely sure what differentiates a prawn from a shrimp. Hi. I know. Came to the front. Like, a lot of these guys come to the front of the tank because they they know when they see me that they're going to get food. This guy's, this guy's getting pretty big. In fact, the prawn are officially for sale at this point. I'm only really keeping one. And uh, probably gonna keep the biggest one right here because it's kind of my favorite. At this point, though, with the prawn, the prawn I knew was going to be a learning process, and I knew there would be failures along the way. I started out with like 12 ish, and I'm down to five. Now, here's the thing, though. the The deaths in this tank. I think I figured out what it was. For a long time, I had been feeding my large inverts like crayfish and such frozen sweet peas they love them these guys love frozen sweet peas however when i started introducing them into their diet i only fed them the sweet peas as a treat maybe once a week and every time i fed that like two or three days afterwards i noticed one or two would die and i was like well that's weird are they fighting over the sweet peas or something and i got to thinking what if the sweet peas 
have some sort of pesticide or something uh, chemical based during their production in the fields that translates to sick uh, invertebrates if they eat it. I'm not quite sure, but uh, you know what has been super reliable? Invert pellets. I, I just dump a bunch of these in and they go nuts for it all the same. You know, frozen sweet peas, they're cheap and easy to use. I can't say for sure it's the problem, but, you know, whatever. And, and here's another thing. These guppies, I started out with 24. I have five guppies left. And that's okay, actually. The guppies were supposed to be food for the, the prawn here. And they ended up deciding that eh, they don't really care for the guppies anymore. <laughs> Uh, yeah, believe it or not, these Macrobrachium rosenbergi, at this stage in their life, just prefers plant matter over anything else. Just because it's an easier catch. And it's gotten to the point where I have baby guppies that are actually getting big enough to where they're, they're getting color on their tails. You know? So they're they're beyond just the fry stage at this point. They're They're growing into the adolescent stage and they won't be a breeding age for another few months but man that plan did not exactly go as I was thinking it would go I don't really mind but it is unexpected hey fisty cuffs I know you're waiting for your nom noms he's kind of looking at me like hey dude where's the food man I have been patiently waiting Yes, yes, I will get you your nom noms in just a moment. But that's pretty much the big things that's going on is uh, shrimp, babies, babies everywhere. They're doing good. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs>